15 years ago, 166 innocent lives were lost in the most dastardly terror attack ever witnessed on in Indian soil. The memory of 2611 Mumbai terror attacks sends shivers down the spine even now. While all roads led to Pakistan for aiding and abetting the terrorists that carried out this attack, many of the perpetrators have managed to escape the long noose of the law. But today, India is one step closer to bringing to book the plotter of the attack, the Habur Rana. A US court has approved the extradition of the Pakistani origin Canadian businessman to India. The Havurana is accused of participating in the planning and execution of the 2611 terror attacks in cahoots with David Coleman Headley. He was accused of allowing Headley to open a branch of his Chicago based immigration law business in Mumbai as a cover story and travel as a representative of the company to Denmark. The Havurana was arrested in the US on an extradition request by India and convicted for providing material support to Lashkar e Toiba. The Biden administration has time and again supported the extradition of Rana to India. In fact, the US government asserted that Rana was a part of the conspiracy and there is a probable cause that he committed the substantive crime of commissioning a terrorist attack. India and the United States have an agreed upon extradition treaty in place, under which the California court today has approved the Habu Rana's extradition to India. going on in the Congress party. They say that Sonia Gandhi never said this and we did scan the speech. She hasn't quite said this. Then why did you put it up on a tweet and why are you sticking to that tweet? There are two states, that is Madhya Pradesh and Uttar Pradesh, where which have declared that this movie will be tax-free. But the criticism is only growing. And there are also likes of uh, Jitendra Award who says that uh, they should be hanged for defaming the women of Kerala. Congress party has said that 32,000 ka tha, teen nikle. This is nothing but BJP propaganda. Are you telling me the Congress position is that three lives are disposable? It is okay for three girls to have been entrapped by a terrorist organization. Your party, workers and supporters are targeting not so much the PDM government or Shahbaz Sharif, they're actually directly targeting the army. Are you now openly challenging the authority of the army to maintain law and order on the streets of Pakistan?